This is an exciting Hornady reloading tip today. We will actually make finished ammunition. As always, Seth Swerzik is my guide to get off on the right foot into the practice of reloading. Before we get started, you'll notice that I have the powder dispenser here and it's empty. I went ahead and put the unused powder back into the original packaging. It's just simply good housekeeping. Now, Seth, we're ready to seat bullets. What's the first step? First step is to get rid of this sizing die and with the Hornady lock and load bushing, it's a quick turn and it's set for next time. Now we're going to replace that with the seating die. Now Hornady seating dies have a floating alignment collar and that collar helps align the bullet with the case mouth before you start the seating process. This enhances accuracy and concentricity. So we'll simply drop that bushing into the press and now we have to establish the height of the seating die. Now within that alignment collar, there is a crimp ring and that crimp ring will literally crimp the case to the bullet and that's important for a really heavy recoiling rifle, a lever action, a revolver, or a semi-automatic. Now for our case, we don't need to crimp. So to establish the proper height, we'll take an empty cartridge case with no primer and we'll run it to the top of the stroke. Now we will gently thread that die down on top of the case until we feel resistance. And the resistance is the crimp ring contacting the case mouth. And since we don't need a crimp, we'll simply back it off by one half turn and secure the lock ring. Run the case down and now we're ready to establish our bullet seating depth. Now, some people like to adjust that seating depth to their individual rifle and that's okay. For the novice, simply reference your bullet in your reloading manual and it will give you the length you need. For this case, we're looking for 2.245 inches. To get started, you simply take your bullet, set it in the case, and adjust that adjustment screw so that's backed out quite a ways. You'll run that to the top of the stroke. We'll take our initial measurement here. You can see we're at 2.290. Now we're looking for 2.245. So we'll have to come down and we'll just incrementally make changes and remeasure until we get exactly what we're looking for. And how perfect this is, is really up to you. If you are okay with a couple thousandths of tolerance, great. If you want it perfect, then take your time and set it perfect. Right there, 2.245. All right, now that we've got that seating die properly adjusted, we're ready to load ammunition. Now I like to have my workflow set up like this. I'll simply grab a bullet, set it into the cartridge case, take that assembly to the press, and begin to run it to the top of the stroke. As it approaches the top, I'll give it a little spin to ensure that it's seated in the rear of the shell holder and that it's not bound up crooked. And just like that, you've got a finished round of loaded ammunition. John, you got 19 more. That is awesome, dude. I am so excited. Thank you. Do you guys have questions about the tools or the techniques? You can contact the Hornady Technical Services staff five days a week. As always, the transcripts and the links to these tools at shootingusa.com.